Hey guys and welcome, ooh, sorry, hit the camera. Welcome to another edition of New Music Tuesday. Um, I don't necessarily have a new album that I want to talk about. And by the way, if you hear my, um, some noise in the background, it's my heater because I am freezing. But, um, yeah, I wanted to come on and do a New Music Tuesday on some thorns in my side lately. Three. Three women who keep making music that, in my opinion, have no relevance. And their talent is so much better than the crap they put out. Sure, it may have a catchy beat. It may only be good. It may be relevant right this second. But we are not going to remember any of this stuff 10 years from now. And those three women, Nicki Minaj, Christina Aguilera, and Rihanna. Those three. Christina Aguilera, I'm especially disappointed with because that girl, that was my girl. And what was that? Late 90s, she popped up. Early 2000s. With Britney Spears and Justin and everything. And the Mickey Mouse Club and all that. I thought Christina was about to be it. Because she had that voice. You know, she was being compared to, you know, the Whitney Houstons, the Celine Dion's, the Mariah Carey's. And then girlfriend lost, uh, done up and lost her mind. Like, I don't know. She decided that her sex switch was off. And she wanted to switch it on. Like, she, it's all about sex. It's sex, sex, sex. I mean, I... I don't understand it because she's so much better than that. She's so much better than that. Now, don't get me wrong. Her second album, what was it called? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Like, Dirty. The one with Dirty on it. And um, Beautiful. And The Voice Within. And, um, you know, the song Impossible with Alicia Keys. That album, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it, was Stripped. That's what it's called. That album was her best album to date for me. That one... And the Back to Basics. Those are my two favorite Christina Aguilera albums. After that, Girlfriend just lost herself. I don't even know what to tell you. She, she, she just, she seems desperate to me. Like, she's just trying so hard to make you like her again. So she's taking off clothes and talking about doing things to you and sex and sex and this and this and this. And I'm, I'm not about that, honey. I'm a woman. You're not, you're not trying to cater to me with all this sex appeal because I don't really find you attractive. I find you really annoying. And that whole, yeah, 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 all that, all that she be doing, like, and the Lava Lizard, Trini Trent, <laughs> what love that I just did that. But, um, all that, that's unnecessary. She does not need to bombard her music with that every two seconds. But, um... She does it, and it sucks. And so I'm just starting to lose respect for her. I don't have any problem that she's gaining weight. I think you're gorgeous, whether you're big, little, small, fat, thin, whatever. I think if she's comfortable in her skin, then she's comfortable in her skin. But whatever, you know? Like, translate that into some quality music that I will remember 10 years down the line. Because I'm not going to remember anything she's done Pass back to basics. That's it. <sighs> I think I might do Rihanna first because Nikki. Okay. Let's talk about Rihanna. Seven years, seven albums. Rihanna has to try so hard or has to, she has to bring out an album every single year, every November, in order to maintain her relevance. Because. The minute that Rihanna is out of our sights, out of our thoughts, off of our radio, we, we're not going to remember her. We're not going to know who she is except for the media attention she got with that whole, you know, Chris Brown thing. But that's another story and I'm not trying to get into that. Rihanna, I don't like her voice. I'm going to put it that way. I, I don't like it, never liked it. But her lyrics are really, her beats are really catchy. The girl is a genius at picking out hits for herself. She's a genius at doing that. She knows what she's doing. She's a mastermind at that. But I don't think she's in it for longevity and legend, the developing of her legend. 
status. I don't think she's in in it for that at all. She's in it for the money and for the instant gratification. That's my opinion. I I'm just not seeing that from her. She be coming out with all this nonsense, throwing the N word around and saying dropping these F bombs and cursing and doing all these things. You don't have to do that to be relevant. You don't have to do that to be known. I I don't like it. Like I said, I'm not saying don't do it, but that's not something I feel she needs to do. I think Rihanna underestimates her ability. I think I underestimate her because she hasn't given me anything to show otherwise, really. But I'm sick of her being in my face. She was She's like a Beyonce for me right now. I'm glad Beyonce took a break because I was about to be done with Beyonce because I was just tired of seeing her every two seconds. But Rihanna, I... <sighs> I want to like you. Like, I do like you, girl. I like you. But I'm sick of you being in my face every two seconds. And the music you come up with. Like, I think Diamonds is a good song. But I loved her Rated R album. Only because I felt like it came from a place of pain. I really do. Um, That Loud, her album Loud. Mm, whatever you know but I really do feel rated R came from a place of pain I think she was really desperate though to get it out there so it could have been better but when Rihanna first came out she was adorable she was cute and adorable long hair and come Mr. DJ some fun that he play come Mr. DJ won't you come and whatever the song is but yeah I thought that was really cute but I'm just sick of Rihanna I just think she's trying too hard to maintain her relevance but I get it because as I read on uh the Lava Lizards blog Jay-Z is grooming Rita Ora, who looks just like Rihanna, but sounds much better to take her place once Rihanna slips, I think. So, I understand she needs to maintain her relevance. So, I'm not mad at you, boo-boo, but I'm sick of you. And then, last but not least, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj done released the same album. How many times already? Two, three times already? She just released this new one. Roman reloaded the re-up. What are we re-upping? What do we need to re-up? What do we need that you didn't give us with Roman Reloaded, which I did not buy? I think it's a bunch of crap. She got every two weeks, every other week, she's coming out with a new video to promote her album that's not selling. I don't know, her Ken dolls and Barbie dolls are not buying her CDs, but they show will stand up and you know, defend her to the death, but you're not going out to buy her music because she's still not selling as she anticipated. She goes, she flies off the handle, you know, doing her thing with Mariah Carey and being mad at DeBrat on Twitter, even though it wasn't DeBrat that said any other stuff. Um, she's egotistical. She's very narcissistic. Have you seen her perfume bottle? And her latest video called Freedom, she has a crown of thorns on her head, sitting on a throne and talking about that she paved the way for blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Honey, you haven't been out long enough to like do you know you haven't to you haven't been out long enough to even have that kind of stature you got to earn your way up that ladder you got to earn your dues you got to pay your dues you got to have walked through the fire now i haven't taught i haven't watched her documentary and people say that it's really good and maybe i will watch it to see if i can understand what her head it where her head is but she i don't know about Nicki minaj but the thing is she's so talented She's so talented and she has major potential to be better than what she's portraying. I personally think she needs to separate herself from Lil Wayne and Young Money. I think if she got under the wing of someone like real, real good, like Jay-Z or, you know, excuse me, <coughs> or even Diddy. Because Diddy is not a stupid person. He is a good businessman. He may not be the best rapper, but he's an excellent businessman. She needs, sorry, I'm turning off my heater. She needs to refocus and get herself learn about who she is at the core and start rapping from the from her bones she's not she's giving us all this superficial secular fluff that's not doing it for me so i need her to get it together this is a really long new music tuesday and i am so sorry but i have to get all this out Leave a comment down below if you agree with me. If you disagree with me, I would love to have a conversation about it. But until next week, I will talk to you soon. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys, if that's what you celebrate.
or if that's what you celebrate. Well, in America, we celebrate it. But if you're watching in not America, in not America, in not America, then happy Thursday. <laughs>